and we're back. All right, let's beat this guy. Yeah, sorry for cutting it so quickly last time. It's just, this guy's gonna take a while. I, and I really need a... Nope. I, can I duck? I, I hope I can duck. Ho ho ho! Just beat him. Just beat him. Yes, I can duck. Good to know. If you don't know, well, you'll see what happens in this game. Th there's a reason why this game is notoriously hard. Hey, I beat him. <laughs> and this is the last level. All right. Blah, 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 Princess Blue, whatever. I don't know what the hell her name is. Arthur's love interest. Oh, Arthur, I'm so glad you came... This sounds so Breath of Fire-y. Which I love. I love Breath of Fire. I'm so glad you came to help me, but not even you can defeat that fiend Sardius. I guess that's his name. Without the power bracelet? Goddess bracelet. Yeah. So this is the thing. This is why people can't beat this game. Because you beat it once. It's impossible. It's ridiculous. And then, well, you'll see right now. I once wore the bracelet, and that's why I was attacked and captured by the demons. Girl, you gotta talk faster, because you're boring me. I barely managed to hide it on the desk by my office on the way here. Hurry up, come on. Please, Arthur, come back here with the goddess bracelet, right? Yeah, I get it. Let's go. Let's do it. And release me. So, you are my own hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. So, yes. Um, I don't remember what I left off saying last time when I cut off. But, let me, let me, let me look up a few things. Because I wrote some stuff down that I wanted to mention as we were playing through this. Yeah, so expose yourself to different ideas and everything. Oh, yeah. I was talking about when I was a kid, right? And so, I was a little explorer. And that's why I got into a lot of trouble. Oh, hell no. He's already gonna take my powers away. Haha. -ha. I think that'll give you the goddess bracelet just so you can see it. Yeah, see that thing? And then it drops it. Boom. Yeah, I'm not taking it. So the key here is you have to do it all over again. It's harder the second time. Not only that, you need the goddess bracelet to beat the guy. If you beat the, I, I don't want to try it. But I think if you beat the if you beat the guy again with the, like let's say I beat it with the bow and arrow again, I have to literally go back uh, to the very beginning and do it again. I think I don't really know that because I would not. Oh, I wouldn't be stupid enough to to try that. If I'm gonna beat the game, I'm gonna beat the game. By the way, last time, I think I mentioned it in my... Maybe I did. I don't remember. But I almost beat this game one time on my actual SNES. And the reason I didn't was because it crashed on me my second way through on level 3, I believe. And then I, I was pissed. I was doing so well. I think I died less than 5 times. Like, honestly, I think it was less than 3 times. Like, 2 or 3 times, I think, is how many times I died. But yeah, anyways, I was a little explorer, right? I, I, I like to do things. And, and that's who I was. When I was a kid, it's like, when you, you see kids, uh, my girlfriend has a has a niece, um, and she's a little, she's a little fireball. She's cute, adorable little thing. But she does not like people telling her what to do, controlling her. She likes to do things her own way. Like, if someone hands her something, she won't want it like that she'll take it from them she won't like if someone's trying to feed her it's like no give me the food i'll eat it from my hand type of thing um and i'm sure many of you have seen yes oh, oh is it worth it it's not worth it it's not worth it go just go arthur um i could probably beat it without any armor anyways and yeah and you can see she's a little fireball right uh, she she doesn't like being controlled 
you could see that and she's not even one yet and and this is the thing one thing that's that's kind of ridiculous that i think some people do is like oh, oh well that person's a baby so you gotta treat them a certain way because they're a baby it's like yes because it's like they need to be changed fed all that stuff right but also one thing that people have to understand is that people humans start developing their personality i don't even this is the thing I believe that they kind of already have a personality. They don't develop a personality. They have a personality. And then they they add on to it. I think I said that in the last episode. And so if that's the case, we have to understand that we can't treat all babies the same way. I mean, in the sense of changing them and feeding them, sure. Every baby has to be changed, fed, cared for, basic stuff. You know, if they get sick, we have to look out for stuff like that. Be careful with them. Yes. But you also have to understand that some babies are going to be more independent. Some babies are going to be more dependent. They want people to be around them. Some babies are fine not without people being around them that much. I have, uh, what is it, three nephews and one niece. And my oldest nephew, he, he's already like grown. You know, like you can see what kind of person he is. But it's interesting to see it when they're young. Because when he was young, you could tell that he was a very kind person. He liked sharing a lot. He liked to... He, he liked to share his toys with, with uh, his younger cousin when he was a baby. He, he was like three or something or four. And he would bring his toys to him and just like set them all in front of him. He's like, oh, here's toys. Play with them. And he wasn't a brat. And that's the thing. There's some kids that they are. They're, they're brats. They, they don't like sharing. They don't like... Uh, they like taking, you know? And my nephew wasn't like that. He liked sharing. He liked sharing experiences with people. And he liked to, to share um, things that he enjoyed with people he cared about. And you could see that from when he was small. No one told him to share. At least I didn't. And I'm sure, like, we did at some point. You know, it's like, oh, share with him. Um, and my sister, I'm sure, told him and everything. But we didn't have to. We didn't. With other kids, you have to. Because some kids are brats. And they don't understand that... They're not the only creature that matters or that wants to have fun, you know? And they have to be taught that. And that's what I'm saying. Some kids have a personality of, of like, being, um, being more selfless. And some kids have more of a selfish personality. And that's okay. What we have to do is help the selfish ones understand, like, hey, let's try to be uh, thoughtful of other people because you're not the only person here. And teach the selfless ones, hey, don't forget to enjoy yourself too and not just try to make other people happy like don't don't depend on other people's happiness too much you know um there's always something to learn for everybody and it's going to be a little different depending on on every single person oh man all right yes And yeah, and then, as I was saying, my... Oh, no! Well, I think I can still make it. With my nieces and nephews, um, my niece, my nephew's little sister, she's a sweetheart, but she's a little... How do I say it? She's a little fireball, too. But she's not She's not selfish. As far as I can tell, she's not selfish. She, she likes to share and everything, too. She's just a little diva. That's all it is. So she, she has a little bit more of a like out their personality you know she likes attention a lot and my nephew likes attention too but he likes it more one-on-one -on -one, you know she likes i'm sure she likes one-on-one -on -one attention too but hold on and i saw my sister comment on something so if she lets me know it's like i can get that clarified but as far as i can tell she likes she likes a lot more attention than he does and that's how some people are and, it, and it's okay because everyone's different. It's okay to want attention. It's okay to want what you want. It's just who you are, you know? And you have to accept that. And then you have to also accept that there's people that are not like you and that like different things in life. And that's okay too. And that's where I'm saying that meeting new people comes in handy with learning these life, um, you know, life hacks, life lessons. Because you're not going to learn it from the people that you've had around for the last 20, 30 years. You're, let me put it this way. You've been with the same family for as long as you've lived, right? Let's say all you knew was what you knew, who you were, and how your family was and learned from them. And that's it. 
now it's like, okay, well, if you've been doing that for the last 20, 30 years, sure, there's things to learn. You, you, you can still learn many things from your family members and everything, but it's not as much as you would learn from someone that you don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but my point is that... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! This is going terribly. But whatever. I might be able to beat it. I don't know. I, I just... I usually get all this stuff done with the bone arrow. It's so easy with it. But yeah, and that and that's my point. Meeting new people, exposing yourself to something you don't know, will expand your way of thinking, will expand what you know about the world, what you know about yourself too, because the thing is that this is what I was getting at with me being small, so I just explained roughly how I was, right? But the other thing is, so if I'm an explorer, I like to be physically active, I'm probably going to be athletic. That's a good, that's a good guess. And I was. Now the thing is, that doesn't mean that I like playing every single sport. I like playing most sports, I do. But there's some sports I like more than others. Namely soccer. And soccer, you want to know how I learned about that? Because of my dad. So, when I was a kid, I had my own personality. But if I, if I didn't know what soccer was... Oh, shit. Oh, no, I thought I made it. If I didn't if I didn't know what soccer was, what are the odds of me coming up with the idea of soccer? You know, like I might be able to come up with it. Sure. But my point is that it already exists. Someone else exposed it to me. And then I learned that I liked it. Like I loved playing soccer as a kid. I loved playing with adults, with kids, whoever. It didn't matter um, in a field, in the dirt with rocks like it didn't matter I would pretty much play soccer wherever whenever when I was a kid and so that's something I learned right and that's the thing that added something to my personality I already liked being yes I already liked being active but now I'm expressing my how do I say it But now I'm, I'm utilizing my my love of being physically active in a sport that I now love. <clears throat> and that's the thing. Um, exposing yourself to new ideas, to new uh, experiences is, is what's key to that. Because if I wasn't exposed to that by someone else, by my dad, then I probably wouldn't have learned that I liked it. Now there's the other thing. When I was uh, when I was going to high school, I started playing tennis, and it's funny because my my friend also wanted me to play tennis, and yeah, I joined, and I had wanted to play tennis even before he told me, and that was something that I had an idea from because I watched this anime a long time ago called Prince of Tennis, and I was like, oh, this looks like fun. I don't know what it was about it to be honest, but it seemed like fun. And so when I got to high school and I realized there was a tennis team in high school, I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to try it out because I don't know if I'm going to like it. But odds are I am. I mean, the game seems appealing to me. I'm a physically active person. Odds are I'll like it. And I tried it and I loved it too. My two favorite sports, soccer and tennis now, right? But that's the other thing. If my school didn't provide that, for me, that option, chances are I probably wouldn't have played tennis ever in my life. I mean, don't, let me not push it that far. I probably would have, but it would have taken a lot longer for me to get to that situation. Because the thing is, my parents didn't play tennis. No one in my family played tennis. I was the first person to play tennis. And that's the thing. Sometimes it takes for you to be in a, in a different situation than what you learn so that you could be the first person in your family to start doing something. And then because of that, my girlfriend, apparently, she likes, well, she likes the aesthetic of tennis, but she also was like, oh, well, I want to play it. And because of me, because she's dating me, who plays tennis, we've played a few times. We haven't played very much, but we like it. And we plan to a lot more in the future. And that's my point. She probably wouldn't have been exposed to it until a very long time. So for her, I started playing tennis when I was in high school, right? So I was, what, 15, something like that? She didn't start playing tennis until she was 20 when she started dating me, roughly. And so my point is, 
I started earlier, but because I knew it and I exposed her to it, she got exposed to something else that she enjoyed. And that's the idea. You have to expose yourself to different things that you will probably enjoy. And that's not always going to happen. Sometimes you will be exposed to things that you're not going to gonna enjoy and that's okay too because the thing is that life is a learning process you can't just expect to get everything right the first time oh no he started right away dude oh man that was a terrible run all right we'll be back next time i'm gonna kick that guy's ass all right but yes expose yourself to things guys don't limit yourself um try new things all right see you next time Bye bye